Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to be talking about Jupiter moving into the sign of Capricorn, which happens very soon. It happens on December 3rd this year, 2019. So what is Jupiter and Capricorn and what does it mean for you? That's what I'm going to talk about today. So I'm going to go through all the signs and talk about you know, what to expect with Jupiter in your sign. And this is for the solar astrology as I go through that. If you know your own chart, you need to look at your chart and see where Jupiter is located by transit once it moves into Capricorn. Okay, so um, this transit lasts all, all the way through to December 2020, so a year basically. Um, now it's interesting to note that Jupiter and Capricorn is actually in fall, um, like Uranus in Taurus at the moment is also in fall. And what that means, um, what I find is, in my experience as well of studying astrology for over 20 years now, is that when a planet is in fall, it yeah it can create a sense of upheaval in some sense, especially like as I mentioned, Uranus Uranus in Taurus can. But it's all for your evolution and all for your growth. So with Jupiter in Capricorn, you know Jupiter is a benefic, which means it's it's a, a positive influence in terms of the planetary energy and how it comes into your life and how it influences your life. Um, so you know this is going to be positive growth for everybody. Um, you know, depending on what house it's transiting through, depending on what it's contacting in your chart. Um, this is a big time for Capricorns in particular to grow and Capricorns have been going through a lot because Saturn's been in Capricorn, Pluto in Capricorn. There's been a lot of change in the lives of all, you know, so many people with Capricorn, unless you're born at the very end of Capricorn, like at the very end on the cusp there, um, 29 degrees, you might not be feeling it too much yet, but you will be, especially with Saturn getting there. But anyway... I don't want to get too scattered, but this and talk about too many different things. But what I'm saying is the Capricorns are really going to experience a lot of growth, as are other signs, but um, Capricorns in particular. Now, um, Jupiter and Capricorn, as I said, it's in fall. So that means that the growth that you experience at, at this time in the next year, it's going to come through confronting something. And it might be facing a fear, you know. Um, it could be facing some kind of fear so that you can become more um, connected to your authentic path and experience a lot of growth as a result because Jupiter and Capricorn will help you sort of put into reality certain um, inspirations that came to you, uh, certain knowings, certain, a certain new direction perhaps that came to you while Jupiter was just through Sagittarius, which we've just had. Okay, so it's time to make real your dreams and it's time to make them... Um, you know, part of your life and part of the structure of your life. And that will happen gradually. And as I said, it depends on, um, you know, like what Jupiter is aspecting in your personal chart. Okay. As to how that happens. So, um, let's start with the signs. So I'm just going to go through, I don't want to make this video too long. I, I personally don't like making really long videos because I feel like there's so many videos on YouTube and you know, everyone's got limited time and, I, you know, most people don't have time to sit through an hour-long video. So I'm going to try and make it straightforward to the point and just so you can pick up a few ideas of, you know, what to expect with this energy. Um, so Aries. So Jupiter is going to be in your 10th house. So this is growth through your goals, your career, your direction in life. There could be a big boost forward. Um, there could be, it is, it is the marriage sector. So you could be marrying someone new, you could be divorcing someone and then, you know, starting a new relationship, um, big change and big growth in that area for Aries and career wise, things should be doing, should be going very well for you. You should be really, um, you know, I mean, I say career, it could be goals in general, um, like your path in general, it doesn't have to be career, but it could be either or for Aries. So it could be, um, you know, like doing very well in your career but through your own efforts you know putting efforts in and actually seeing the results of those efforts made manifest so that's very good i feel um the 10th house being you know a, a cadent house uh it's a strong energy there so um so putting in the efforts and you know you could be seen very well uh, sort of favorably in the eyes of authority figures in the workplace so bosses and so forth maybe you might be sort of um you know, looked upon favorably by them because of the efforts that you're putting in. So remember with Jupiter in Capricorn, it is all about your effort making the results happen and making um, the change happen. So, you know, if you wanted something Aries or wanted to achieve something with Jupiter in uh, Capricorn in the 10th house for you, this could be the year to do it. 
Um, your path could be changing significantly and there could be, you know, could be an element of facing some fears of things that you've procrastinated about in the past in order to push yourself forward into a new direction. Um, but definitely, as I said, can, because because Pluto and Saturn are also, I'll just mention these, are also, you know, along with Jupiter in your 10th house, you could have an ending in something very significant whether it's a career change or a relationship change the end of a marriage at the end of a situation that has been going for a long time so that you can actually grow and evolve now okay right for taurus um this is in your ninth house so you know the ninth house with capricorn there could be to do with travel associated with um you know family like parents uh you may travel to see parents more you may have um changes going on in the life of your parents that has some effect on you that allows you to grow in some way um it's also to do with your mindset because the ninth house is a mental house so you could be noticing that your um your mind is is changing about things your mind is opening up about things you may be feeling um like you need to expand your mind that you need to do a course that you want to study or um apply yourself mentally to something that you haven't done before in order to grow okay and there could be something to do with legal um if there's anything to do with legal issues for any taurians out there um jupiter in the ninth house could um, indicate that things will go in your favor um, but you will have to put a lot of efforts in for that so and there could be a lot to do with like documents legal stuff because the ninth house does relate to um legal documents and the law as well um so yeah you could have things to deal with in relation to that um dealing with paperwork documents uh as i said legal things um the seventh house is also also legal things but the ninth house does cover that as well the ninth house is also spirituality so you could be expanding in your spirituality in a very practical way you could be making something to do with your spirituality very real taurus you could be um you know making money from something that you really believe in because you know jupiter in capricorn is very earthy it's very practical and the ninth house is your belief so you could be believing um or a path or or a particular ideology or spirituality or something along those lines that you really believe in um and you've been working on for a long time you can really make it real and make it into you know something that has a very successful aspect to do with overseas connections um some taurians may even travel overseas because the ninth house is related to that as well gemini this is your eighth house so wow that's the house of um intimacy and you know shared money resources and your deeper psychological self so there is a need for you to grow gemini in a very intense way especially you know saturn pluto also in your eighth house it's really um creating a shift for you guys in regards to um releasing fears around where you've been stagnant or stuck um and you know going into deeper territory in regards to intimacy something that's more perhaps authentic to you leaving behind something that's not authentic because you know you've got saturn pluto there in the eighth house and that's severing ties that um are to do with shared money shared resources but it's to do with the past so you may be you know you may be going through a divorce gemini you may be going through a separation or you may be um you know having a massive transition in your life in a very deep way that's very psychological and very impactful on you and this is not easy energy by any means with the eighth house being activated but um it does promise a lot of growth and there could be new experiences for you in a deeper intimate sense with new you know new situation perhaps but it's very much in it's the house of endings and death and rebirth so you know it's a scorpio house being activated there for you for you guys gemini so yeah it's it's not easy but um confronting fears will actually allow you guys to move into better areas of your life and find a newfound sense of inner strength and growth and authenticity and um perhaps independence in some way as well cancer this is in your seventh house a so very heavy energy for for cancerians in the seventh house there um this is growth in partnership though so and again it could be the seventh house as i said is legal matters there could be some legal matters that crop up crop up for some cancers in the next year not everyone obviously but depends on how this activates in your personal chart as well um but there is growth in relationships for you there there could be endings and beginnings in relationships there could be you know saying goodbye to people from the past in some aspect um it could be in any way uh but there are new relationships forming as well there's a focus a very strong focus on your one-on-one -on -one relationships and 
perseverance um, in the case that, you know, if you want to stay in a relationship and you want to work through it, perseverance, determination will allow new growth to happen. Um, but there may be endings as well for some Cancerians in relationships and legal matters, as I said, potentially. Um, you do want to stay on the right side of the law if you're a Cancerian. Um, because this energy is very strong in that house that relates to very karmic energy with to do with other people. Uh, so you want to be doing the right thing by other people and, you know, moving through your relationships with integrity and fairness and balance. Uh, but there is a lot of growth potential in relationships. Um, some Cancerians could get married because it is the seventh house of one-to-one -one partnerships and it is the house of, um, you know, um, a marriage partner, the seventh house, also the tenth house is, but um, relationships one on one relating with the seventh house. So, yes, yeah, significant um, connections with others for Cancerians and a lot of growth in relationships, new partnerships could develop as well. Leo, this is in your sixth house, so a lot of work for you guys <laughs> by the looks of a Leo. So, um, but you know what, with, with what um, you decide to do with regards to work, whether it's a change in your work situation or um, progressing yourself or advancing yourself in the workplace. Um, this is this is gonna you know put you in good stead for some kind of increase in income potentially, Leo. So you could get a pay rise. You could definitely get um, uh, like an offer to take on more responsibility with higher pay, that sort of thing. Um, there could be you know letting go of an old job and starting a new um, situation, a new job for you. This is also the house of health and routine, so there could be something that you decide to do that's new for yourself, um, Leo, that is to do with your routine. You could take on like, you know, a new yoga class or a dance class or something that um, has a positive effect. You could even teach something because Jupiter and Capricorn together, there's an element of authority with that. And if you, you know, have been doing something, Leo, that is creative, you might decide to teach that to like, you know, say you've been doing um, painting for years and you become really good at it and you know all the technical aspects and you think, you know what, I could teach that and look into maybe doing that, so just as an example. But I do get teaching very strongly with this and um, you could be doing more courses or classes if you have your own business um, or you could be stepping up just in some way that sees you take um, some kind of leadership aspect here uh, with helping others and being a guide for others in some way, being a teacher or just being you know, a support to to another person that needs it, possibly even with parents it could be. Sixth house is very much like uh, relating to doing things for others in a very practical way. And with Jupiter there, it's like you, you might be being called to to really help others um, in this practical way more and more, okay? Uh, Virgo, this is your fourth house. So, sorry, not your fourth house, correction, your fifth house. So, interesting. So, for Virgo, there is more energy in the area to do with children and romance. Um, if you're, say you're a Virgo that you, you want to have a child, but you know, you, you could have a child in the next year very, very, for sure you could, but it's going to be hard work to get there. So either it's hard work to conceive or, or the pregnancy is, is, you know, not easy for you. Um, and, or it could be that those things are fine, but then you have the child and it's like, wow, I'm not sleeping and I've got, you know, I've got so much to get done now that I've got this little baby, you know, it can be full on. So, but it's a big time of growth for you and you could be expanding your family if you already have a family. Um, you could be um, having a lot of changes in your romantic life and a lot of growth there. You could be meeting new people or doing something. Also, the fifth house is creative, so you could be taking on something that's creative that's very satisfying to you. Um, again, you could be, if you have your own business, Virgo, this could be a time to expand in that. Or if you've wanted to have your own business or become an entrepreneur in some way, this would definitely help you to get into that and boost that energy in your life. Um, you're also learning about self-love because it's the house of, you know, how we love. And, you know, you're really learning about your self-worth, Virgo, and what you need to feel good in yourself and what's important to you to feel loved and how you, you know, give and receive love. Uh, Libra, this is in your fourth house, so there could be changes in the family home. Um, there could be a change to the structure of your home because, you know, Jupiter and Capricorn is growth to the structure, the physical structure, the physical aspects there in the home. Um, you know, it could be expansion of the family, having a child as well. It could be because the fourth house relates to mothering. Um, it could also relate to parents, so there may be more things going on, Libra, with your parents or, you know, being a parent yourself, you might have something extra that you're dealing with um, in some way. You, you could have a child as well. That could be another another aspect of it. Um, or you could be renovating your home. You could be adding extensions. You could be looking at uh, moving house to a bigger home. 
um, or you could have people come stay with you in your home. You could be, you know, having more to do with family in some way or family moves closer and you've got more family around you. Um, a lot of growth around family as well for Libra. Scorpio, this is the third house for you. So your mind is being expanded and you're looking to uh, grow and possibly, you know, take on a course or teach a course or um, get more involved in your local community or get more involved with your siblings your neighbors um, you could move as well because the third house is to do with your local area there could be a change for that in that for you in some way there could be a restructuring you know of of your community in some way there could be a lot going on in your community like you know a lot of um, changes in the local buildings or construction or um, changes you know to do with your siblings that are very practical like working together with your siblings for a particular reason like to do something perhaps that's important in the family as well um it, it's, it's extended family as well so other relatives could feature in your life more as well like older relatives could play more of a part in your life with jupiter and capricorn uh, but you're expanding your mind and you you may be wanting to really delve into creating something you know that has if you just say you have your own business um and you're a scorpio uh scorpio rising scorpio moon you could be looking at doing something very practical that um enhances your business that is related to social media in some way so um you could be putting something out there that's new you know that's different that you haven't done before um it's also to do with your speaking and your communication so you may be communicating more to do with business if you have your own business you may be communicating more in in your life you may be wanting to write or you know create publish something that um you can put out there for others to consume perhaps in some way it could be a product or something like that and that you use social media to get it out there if you don't have your own business um you could be just getting out and about in your local area more you could be going on short trips and adventures even um doing things that you haven't done before like going places that you've never been before and having you know some kind of adventures you know getting out in nature and doing stuff like that sagittarius this is your second house which is very good this is a money sector and jupiter is lucky you know be, jupiter is great to have in your second house in capricorn it's the you know in the second house there is the money you earn so there is opportunity for you sagittarius to really earn more money at this time and to put the efforts in to look at how you can increase your income but it's going to be something that either comes to you karmically in some way or um, is through your own efforts basically I see that so you could take on like a, a new job that is high has higher pay or you could um, somehow just find yourself able to um, increase your income so yeah um, also it is the house of the physical body so you do need to watch your diet and things like that Jupiter in the second house can you know increase your desire for indulgences and things like that and it is in fall so you might need to watch your weight and stuff like that um what else um it's also to do with self-worth so you may be reevaluating uh, or going through a growth period in regards to your self-worth and how you feel about your physical body your self-worth your identity in some way to do with your your physical body it's also creative um, energy second house so you could be doing more that's creative that has a practical aspect to it as well uh capricorn this is in your first house of course so there's a lot of growth as i said at the beginning of the video you know you guys are going through massive changes and it's almost like it's like a death of the old you capricorn that's the only way i can put it it's like the old identity the old way that you've lived your life that is really going to change and you guys are moving into a new life and something completely different that feels more aligned to where you're at now it's like the old you that you've kind of been sort of hanging on to for a little while there quite a number of years that's been slowly kind of um fading into the background and there's a new you emerging and you know it might be confronting in some way you might have to confront something to do with your relationships because it's the opposite house um the seventh house or you might have to confront aspects of you know are you being honest with yourself about who you are where you're at what you want and really making the changes practical because this is all this energy for you guys with jupiter pluto and saturn all in capricorn um it's very practical energy it's about making change real for yourself capricorn and really seeing that manifest and it will happen slowly but it will be gradual but it will be satisfying as well aquarius this is in your 12th house there's a lot going on psychologically for aquarius it's about leaving behind old baggage from the past to do with parents you know your conditioning that's very much in your subconscious mind uh, paying attention to 
you know, messages from spirit from your dreams because they're sort of pushing you in a direction to grow, Aquarius, and you really need to pay attention to your intuition because it is guiding you from a very deep way, in a very deep way. And um, basically, this is, you know, the 12th house is to do with subconscious things, is to do with your dreaming, um, past lives as well. It's very karmic energy, so you're really clearing out a lot, Aquarius, so that you can also... Um, sort of purge it out and then move on with your life in some way so that you feel clearer with less confusion and less kind of uncertainty going on um the 12th house is house of institutions as well so there might be something where you're dealing with um karmic energies with other people institutions schools um you know universities hospitals that type of energy you might have you know elderly parents in hospital or a parent in a hospital you have to go to hospital for some reason i'm not saying you're going to get hurt or anything like that but there may be visits to hospitals or visits to people in a hospital or encounters with hospitals potentially for aquarius um but there's also a lot of growth for you on a very deep psychological level through what you're going through at this time so it's very interesting it's very internal though so it might be just you're you're the one that's very aware of it and maybe not a lot of people are aware of what you're going through um, but a lot of change on a deep level so that you know it it helps you manifest more of what you want on the external but it's like you've got to clear it out first lastly pisces this is in your 11th house so the 11th house is to do with friends and groups and your wishes so there could be changes with regards to friends it could be old friends leaving and new friends coming in um there could be an opportunity for you pisces to make something real that you've always wanted to maybe if you have your own business growth in regards to that growth in regards to contacts with people developing more contacts um having more uh, making more connections and growing those connections and things to do with word of mouth like if you have your own business people hearing about your work and you know and you're getting more work as a result of that um it could be to do with dealing with the public in general or that's quite favorable but it's through your reputation so be very aware of pisces the way you you conduct yourself with people with groups with um anyone in a group situation whether it's friends or even a group of people at work or even you know even family like wherever there's a group involved you need to be very aware pisces of how you're coming across and your reputation um in groups because that's very strong with you at you know in this time as well so um but you could be fulfilling a wish that you've wanted for you know something that you wanted to do for a long time pisces um as i said there could be you know new people new friends coming in that really have a positive impact on your life with generosity of spirit and some kind of practical support or help um or you could be helping friends you know it could be either way um but yeah it's also you know it's the house of wishes fulfilled so if you put the efforts into manifest what you want pisces you can definitely achieve that with jupiter in uh, capricorn in your 11th house but you will have to put the efforts into this so like creating a vision board or writing down goals things like that would actually be quite beneficial for you so that was all for each sign as i said do check your astrology chart to see where jupiter is transiting if it's aspecting anything if you've got anything in earth signs this is going to be very good for you taurus um capricorn or virgo because you get the trine aspect um even the square can be good as well so you know jupiter say if you've got libra jupiter is uh, gonna square say libra sun jupiter will square sun that's not too bad you know jupiter squares can be okay um they can be quite good it, de it all depends on you know what else you've got going on in your, in your personal chart if you would like a reading with me uh go to the link below i do offer readings um via my online store so yeah um so i hope you enjoyed the video and if you have questions put them below and i'll see if i can get to them thanks for watching bye